This is the road down which Russia's war of annihilation may lurch. And its emptiness speaks only of what is to come from Russian-held Kherson up here to the vital port of Mykolaiv. They know what it is to be in Russia's way. Out of 18 homes, 10 are left in our village, she says. No electricity, gas, water or heat. The only ones left are those who can't leave, another adds. They're young, edgy, guns raised. Unsure who we are. Press written on our vests and our press cards slowly calms them down and they apologize. But this is not an army in full control of its destiny. The trenches are where the rockets land every night. Some are from Odessa, Moscow's eventual target here. Others from just down the road. He's saying his house is just over there. It's important to see what tools Ukraine has been left with by a world that seems so concerned. They fight for their homes, but tell me they captured Russians who seemed unaware why they were even here. And they said they can't understand what's going on, he said. They can't go back because back there they're being shot for retreating, so they advance or surrender. Dust in Mykolaiv has sounded this way for weeks. But unbroken morale takes different forms. And this is a police chief driving a birthday gift to the governor with a captured Russian machine gun soldered onto it. It does not distract from the seriousness of the twilight world in which his colleagues work. Any drunk or man changing his car battery after curfew could be a Russian saboteur, they fear. There really is no way to check by looking at phones and in trunks. The city is dark, bar their lights and the flash of the distant enemy's bombs. An urgent hospital call for blood has gone out. They rush to help. The savagery of Russia's targeting measurable in how dark this four-floor hospital keeps itself at night. Invisible, not from a power cut, but to avoid Russian bombs. Mikolaev has been fearing encirclement for days. There is heartbreak for those who leave. Amid the shared agony, still a tussle to get on to buses to Moldova. The men stay. Yes, this is my wife, Senia, and my daughter, uh, Varvara. And she goes to Poland. She can go to Poland. Because uh, uh, after come back, of course, after come back. So what will you do? So I go to the... This is my country. This is my country. What I must do? Go to the Poland? No Poland. This is my home. And there is heartbreak for those who stay. Svetlana lost her husband in a rocket attack Sunday that killed nine outside a shop. The violence here is a chain of moments of blinding grief. Pieces left to wander alone. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Mykolaiv, Ukraine.